Isabel1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One and today I'm just going to go into that subject and open that murky subject of why you should play in open. Now this is just my personal opinion and I'm not against anyone playing in any chosen mode that they choose to play in. My preferred preference to play in open, it may not be yours and I am not going to judge you harshly for you know, wanting to play in solo or private group, but I'm just going to make a case as to why I would consider playing in open. Now, it goes back to when I first played the original Elite, I was about you know, 9 or 10 years old, and the idea of having the ability to play with other people around the world, random people you did not know, uh, is something that would have amazed and astounded a 10 year old me, and I would have actually completely and utterly loved it. Uh, you know, I loved playing Elite back in 1984, but it was a very lonely solo experience, you know. It was cool, it was amazing, it was the sandbox, it was awesome, it was one of the greatest games I'd ever played, and still, the concept to this day, mind-blowing, mind absolutely mind-blowing, especially back in 1984. Uh, and in my imagination, even though those wireframe graphics weren't the best, this is what they looked like in my imagination. You know, they invoked enough in me to conjure the rest of myself. Now, fast forward to today, I have the ability to play with random people from around the world. And I choose to do that. Now there is inherent risks in that. There is the fact that you may just get blown up by a griefer. Uh, I know quite a lot of the griefers on Xbox. Uh, TOC are some of my favourite guys in the game. Even though they spent years trying to blow me up. I hold no grudges against any griefer that has tried to kill me in my time in Elite Dangerous. Doesn't bother me. The most you'll suffer from dying in Elite Dangerous is you'll have to pay a rebuy. And to be honest, evasion... Once you've nailed evasion, you're sorted. And it's not that difficult to evade commanders in Elite Dangerous. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I hear horror stories of people being hounded by griefers and hunted for light years by griefers. Never seen it, never had it happen to me. I've had one griefer come after me for an extended period of time once. And it, it just does not happen. People don't tend to pursue you system after system after system. You know, like I say, I've had one griefer wake scan me and come after me once. And then all I did was jump a further distance away that his ship couldn't keep up with. And that was that was it. It's not that hard to evade. And also, if you die, what's it, it costs you a, a little bit of mining, you know, a little bit of time. Maybe even one wing mission will cover your rebuy. It's hardly the biggest expense in the world. And also, you wouldn't get the opportunity, if you play in solo or private group, for things like this to happen. This is me and Deadweight Don doing wing missions. We meet a newbie. Uh, after some explaining of how to do it, uh, he jumped in our wing, accepted the wing mission, and got a reward. Uh, we did this a couple of times. The, you know, the guy made a decent amount of money out of us very quickly. Um, also, you know, helped him out with a few things. Um, you know, added him on Xbox, and uh, we'll see if I can help him along a little bit. That sort of thing won't happen to you when you're in solo. Those NPCs aren't as helpful as real commanders. But anyway, that's all for me talking. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.